Hey everybody, YouTube land, Yacate, Grossaus, Texas. Hey, so I just wanted to show you this real quick. You know, because you people ask me, well, how are you going to feed your group of people if all you have is a small little bug out place? And this is how I plan on doing it. This right here is a, I'll back up here in a second, once I get that good and going. Right here is a, called a charbroil, and it's really pocket size. But they built this thing just right. I'm going to show this to you here in a second. I think that's going good enough. Notice I'm not using... I'm just one-handed here. Put that off to a side. Okay, that's what this thing is. Back up here a little bit. Show you that thing. Craigslist, 20 bucks. Okay. Notice I'm not using any charcoal. I'm just using what I find, which is... Uh, indigenous, you know, juniper, dried, you know, I use a lot of good dried stuff in here. I'm not going to poke my finger in the fire, don't worry. Uh, some oak that split, and it doesn't take much wood to get this thing going. And if you notice, I've got a little splash pan right there. Um, no charcoal, no, um, no charcoal lighter. I don't like that taste. Ugh, it gets that, that gets in the food, and I don't like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see if I get, there you go. A little more light on this up to tear. Uh, a little splash pan down there, guys. I use that to create a little bit of steam to keep the, the meat nice and moist and whatever it is I'm, I'm cooking here. Um, this, guys, really is tiny. And I wish I could do a side-by-side -side comparison uh, for you, but I don't see anything around here that I can use too well. Uh, how about this, guys? Move my, make sure I don't burn anything here. Five-gallon bucket, okay? So maybe about two and a half times the size of a five gallon bucket. Very light, very portable. Um, you can stick it anywhere under the shade or whatever you want to, under a cover or something like that. And as you can see, the fire is going really good. I'm gonna close this thing up. I'll put a little water in a splash pan down here. Uh, sometimes I get a little creative. Hold on folks, hold on just a second. I gotta, safety first, safety always. I'm gonna put my hand in there. I better be using a glove. Always have gloves, folks. Any good prepper will tell you, make sure you have a good pair of leather gloves. Make sure you have a good pair of winter gloves. You know, uh, I just use that for steam. There you go. Close this up. Get that nice heat going in there, guys. I said this is called a charbroil. You know, 20 bucks, Craigslist. Can't go wrong. And I'll uh, show you, you got... Okay, let's get a little... There you go, there you go, okay. Check it out, a couple of racks here, a couple of racks in there. I'm gonna make an additional rack, uh, put my meats to smoke on top, you know, and uh, the veggies kinda on the bottom here a little bit. But that's gonna be, I'm gonna cook up some chicken here in a bit. If you're ever in the Central Texas area, and you wanna do some shooting the bull, shooting some lead, and just some good old fellowship, prepper fellowship, firearm fellowship, man, and you're in this area, Central Texas, drop me a line, man. No worries, okay? All right, guys, that's about all I want to talk about for this section. How are you going to feed all your folks when you're you're in your bug out location? You don't need a great big, you know, uh, grill or something like that. You don't need something that's gaudy. Uh, just need something to keep some heat in there, and it'll be just fine, okay? Keep an eye on your fire and a few other things. That's why your camp cook <laughs> needs to have their project set aside, i.e. Uh, making sure they get enough oak and kindling. You know, my killing box is getting a little dry here, but at the end of the weekend, I got to head back to work today. Uh, and I had this for like a little paper and carry in some oak, whatever. But anyway, that'll do it, folks. Mmm, mmm, I can smell that nice oak going right now. All right, folks, until next time, Johnny the Practical Nurse, out here. I'll see you next time. Salute.